Hey Libra, so joy. Welcome to my channel. God bless you. All right, we have your have a deal with the retrograde. Mercury retrograde coming up. Well, we're in it. And it goes through mid-August. So, what we're going to do is see who you are during this period. What you need to learn. And all of your spiritual cards. Thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel. Push the notification bell so you'll know when I go and do my free reads during the week. Who is Libra? <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we go. A bright yellow. An artist. Still among a lot of people card. Expresses a dimension of life that is just bar beyond the five senses. Inspiring others to see life symbolically. Okay, let me get. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let me take care of this glare. As you can see, with all of the flags, that's a lot of different people. Um, you're looking at it intently. Sometimes on the money, the green, and strength, and power out of it. But it's still in, you know, sometimes happiness can be behind you, but you're healing. This is work you're trying to do, maybe a project. Uh, you have all of the truth here because you're standing in black and white and you're trying to heal your heart and your mind, okay? Recovery, uh, dealing with people, recovering relationships. Uh, but you can see just beyond the five senses pretty much uh, either to be a storyteller or paint a picture for others. Sometime even for yourself to see what's going on. Okay, let's see the secret. Now, what is the secret about what you have to learn? It's a card here. What is the secret about what you have to learn? Libra. You're the artist. And it's the burnt orange, meaning you you healed already for some, from some of the stuff. <clears throat> see what I mean? There you go. Competition in orange. You're going to win. Some gold or money. See, remember I was talking about winning power money. But uh, emotionally, it's an internal struggle. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay. Uh, and so dealing with many, many people. Trying to get their point across. You're going to have to barter, negotiate. And that's the number five. So the main lesson of that is to realize that. You're going to have to stand in truth when you're painting this picture. Okay? And just have integrity with work because this is a work or social or emotional card. So in your emotions, dealing with work, your social life, people, relationships, just make sure uh, you're painting the truth. And for to heal your own heart and mind. <clears throat> so let's see what angel is working with you. Libra. Retrograde. There we go. Uh oh. Honor your feelings. It says, Archangel Haniel, thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. So, you see, this is an emotional card being everywhere. See? It's like, you're dealing with this person, and this making you feel this way. Then this person walk in, and they're like, hey, stop feeling that way, do it. And you know what I mean? And it's just everywhere. They bring in their emotions to you. realize that with the number five. But the angels are saying the secret is with this big moon, which is feminine energy. Honor your feelings. If you have to cry, cry. If you need to tell someone something, tell them. Mm -hmm. Why not? That's the secret to life, expressing love. Love is right over the angel. And, you know, she's holding a flower, a lotus in her hand. You know, and she's green for fertility. So if you want love and fertility, see the secret, the O right next to her, how the cards do. Happiness here over this in love and, and this burnt orange for them have learnt something. 
Okay? The secret to all of this is to having the feminine energy and negotiating. Let me pray over this. Amen. You know what I mean? Let's see your spiritual animal you're working with. What spiritual animal are you, are you working with to gain control of your emotions and honor your feelings? Okay? If you love someone, love them. The Groose. <clears throat> what does the Groose have to say? It's a very auspicious animal. It also adds up. <clears throat> Excuse me. To the number seven. So you have to see what is worth it. What's worth getting attached to. I'm feeling attachment in this reading. Attachment to people that aren't worth it. Attachment to places and things or feelings that are blocking you from your growth. Okay, so the Groose, number 34. Let us see what number 34 has to say. And uh, here we go. It says sacred spiral, birth and rebirth, symbols for personal power. Meditation with the sun and the stars. And I told you it says selflessness and beauty. That beautiful angel there. Stop. See and see how you talk, move, and pray. So if you are praying only to gain, oh I gotta win, Lord. Uh let I gotta win this money. <laughs> or I got to beat them at all costs, or, you know, the guru says, what are your motivations? What What is your lotus about? What are you bringing? Honor your feelings. That is all feelings, your shadow feelings and your good feelings, your attributes and the things that are not right. It's saying, watch how you move. Watch how you're talking to people. Watch how other people move. Watch how other people are talking to you and watch how other people are talking to other people. And you can tell if they pray or not, if they're ma manifestors of love. You see what I mean? If they're spiritual, okay? Because if you pray, as the Groose, this Groose, I told you it's an auspicious card. So is this purple and regality. It's matching the sign and everything. I'm telling you. See what's worth it. If the people aren't worth it and they're not full of what? They could be coming to you and you're like, hey, everybody. And they like, you don't deal with them no more because they, they're not worthy of it. How can you get in connection with this group's energy? It says, I am taking the time I need. So that would be taking the time to honor your feelings. A lot of times you can't honor your feelings around people. So while this is taking a walk, go down the yellow brick road to see that there is light at the end of the road. You see that? It may be uphill because it is uphill, but it's blue for emotions, fears, and attainment. Okay, so go down that road to take the time you need. Nice. That is the secret to... This Mercury retrograde season, people may be returning into your life to see if you are going to honor yourself and your feelings. You know, they may be coming as shadow people without love to see if you know what love is. By the way they move, the way they talk, seeing if they even pray. And they'll be looking at you, the way you move, the way you talk, and seeing if you pray. Manifestors, no manifestors, by the words that and see, I'm having trouble talking. This is my third step. Mm. By the words that come out of their mouth. Whether they see the light at the end of the tunnel. So, just say you say, hey, to a co-worker. Because a lot of you, this is about work too. Wow, it's, um, you know, it's four o'clock. We're almost about to get off and they'll go either it's a whole nother hour or man, it's, I can't wait. It's just one more hour. You see what I mean? How people talk, their motivations and if they pray, how they see the light at the end of the tunnel is the most important thing of who you should be intertwining with. 
because who are you supporting yourself? And honor your feelings. If you don't like them, okay, or you don't vibe with someone, see if it's worth even dealing with them, okay? Because it'll be detrimental to, to your growth and progress. That's the actual lesson to self-protection, okay? And you honoring your angels. If they're watching you and you're continuing to know what's fertile, See the three is fertility and then the four is stability and rules. You know what's fertile and the rules and you keep not turning around, turning your back to the light or the road you must walk toward. You may try to go this way and it's rocks and you go, oh, ooh, and kind of keep coming down when this is paid for you. It just uphill a little bit higher, higher vibration. And it's a little harder, but it's worth it. Okay, so let's bless this. Thank you, Libra. I'm sweet joy. And I'll talk to you all later. <clears throat> Please press, press the like button if this resonated. <laughs> God bless you. See you later, Captains. Bye.